Yo, what's up everybody? This is Hitman. I have another Game Battles Wogo tutorial for you guys today. To start off, this new video recording program I have is not the best quality. So there's going to be a link in the description of what the Game Battles Wogo will look like when you're done. Alright, so make, open up Photoshop, obviously, make a, new, uh, make a new document 300 by 200. It's the size for Game Battles. Then get out your gradient tool. Pick it really pick a dark gray as your foreground. And then pick another gray just a little bit lighter right around there. Make a new layer. Then make sure the gradient tool is still selected. Make a radial gradient. Make sure your lighter gray is in the foreground. And then go to the middle, hold down shift, and then drag out to the side. Let's make another new layer. Now you're gonna get out the elliptical marquee tool. Now my logo is gonna be a dark green color. That's what I'm just gonna use, so. All right, now you're gonna make another radial gradient. The exact same way. So now you're gonna drag this green wire right down below the black wire, and then you're gonna make a new wire. In between both of them, the elliptical marquee tool, and you're just gonna make a circle right, or, right about like that. Just fill it with any color, it doesn't matter. Now, you're gonna get this dark gray layer, layer that you just made, you're gonna make it a clipping mask onto that layer. Now, to make a clipping mask, you just highlight the layer, and then you go Control Alt and G. That way, the black is only inside the pixels of the layer of the marquee of the circle. Now we're just going to add in a texture really quick, so make a new layer. Now I'm just going to add in some scan lines. Now make sure this is a clipping mask also, so it only shows up in the dark area. And lower the opacity of the scan lines to about 30. Now make another new layer, and here's where we add our text. <gasps> Alright, I'm gonna make my foreground color a gray, a whitish gray, right around, right around the middle there. Now it's gonna make my text evil. Now, the font I'm using is called Impact. And then, see this little box up here? You click that, you can adjust the spacing in between the characters. I'm just gonna make it 25 in between them. Now, I'm also gonna change the font for the V in the middle to make it stand out a little more. I have this nice graffiti font that looks pretty good and it's called Street Writer. And it's gonna change the V to that color. I'm also gonna change the color of the V to a nice whitish green right around there. All right, now go right-click the text layer and go to blending options. You're gonna get a gradient overlay, white to black, linear gradient, and just change the opacity to 50. Also, you can add a stroke, one pixel size, and color black. You can add a drop shadow, angle, make it 90, distance two, size two. All right, now duplicate your text layer. You're gonna right click it and rasterize the type. Now go to the blending options for the one you just rasterized. Uncheck the drop shadow, the gradient overlay, and the drop and the stroke. You got a color overlay. And the color overlay black. Now go to edit, transform, flip vertical and then move it down just below 
the other text alert. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and add a layer mask to it so that the reflection looks more realistic. So go to layer, layer mask, reveal all. And notice as soon as you do that, your foreground and background colors turn to white and black. You wanna get out the gradient tool, make sure it's a linear gradient, not radial. And just start at the top and then bring, drag it down to the bottom. That way you can see the bottom of the text fades out. Now on that same layer, go to edit, transform, perspective. And what we want to do here is just drag out the bottom right one a bit to the right. Now we can see it just looks flattened like this. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're just going to add some gloss onto the text. So make it, so go bring out, you're going to bring out the pen tool. Make sure that this is selected, this is selected, and this right here is selected. Make sure your foreground color is white. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click up here, bottom, like right around here, and then drag it like this, and then click like that. And I just want to finish it off, loop it all together, press enter, and hit control alt g to make a clipping mask onto the text. And we're going to lower the opacity to 50. Now we're just going to add some lighting effects. So go to image, create a new layer, go to image, apply image, press enter, go to filter, render, lighting effects. What I'm going to do is click 2 o'clock spotlight. Then just drag it in so that it, like that. This just brings some emphasis onto the text a little more. I'm going to lower the opacity of that lighting effects layer to 30. 30 is going to be the right number. Now also, we're just going to make a new layer again. Go to uh, image, apply image, filter, render, lens flare. Now, make the brightness of it 50, and the type 105 millimeter prime. Just like that, so you can see how it is. Now what I'm actually going to do is make a new layer. We're going to fill this one with black. Go to linear dodge. Now delete the layer that you just made the lens flare on. And you're going to do it again, but on this black layer. This way you can move around the lens flare, and you can rescale it if you want. I'm just gonna keep it right around. I'm gonna lower the opacity of it to 80. Let's leave it right around there. That looks pretty sweet. All right, so that's basically the end of this tutorial. I hope you liked it. Subscribe to me because I'm gonna be releasing some more tutorials on game battles logos and some other Photoshop things during the week and next week. And please like because that really helps me out and it puts my video ahead of other people's. And if you wanted to, if you want me to make you a game battles logo for your team, just shoot me a PM. I'll check it out. I'll probably charge you a dollar over PayPal, but I'm, you know, this might be feeling generous. It might, if your team's good, I might make it for free. So thanks for listening, guys, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.